in the session that I chaired with my colleague Fanny Elahi from Icon University in New York, uh, we, we had an excellent presentation from Dr. Uh, Fei Chong Cheng, who is at the Cleveland Clinic in Ohio. And what he had done was uh, a, a clever thing. He, he looked at the, the medical records of a great many patients, uh, over 30,000 patients, and looked at the drugs they were taking long term and looked at their transition to dementia and asked whether the, the prescribing history, what drugs they were taking regularly, did any of those give a signal for greater or less risk of getting dementia later in life? Um, and it must have been a huge undertaking uh, in in a digital format. But he came back with a, a short list of, of the top 20 drugs. Number one was the drug sildenafil, which is better known as Viagra. Uh, and that, of course, is another PD-5 inhibitor probably used even more widely than Tadalafil. So I think uh, Fei Chong's finding really brought a, a lot more attention to this area and and made us and made everyone else who was listening think, should we look a bit more at these drugs? How are they doing that? Uh, if, if that signal is real, uh, that that suggestion that taking sildenafil, sildenafil uh, chronically can influence dementia risk, then uh, how is that happening how what's the mechanism is is that a, a vascular effect is it a neuronal effect is it a completely off target effect so i'm i was delighted to meet fei chong and and to talk about our our thoughts around that that subject